Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope we're doing well. I haven't reviewed any sabers from Art Sabers for a while now. This is where the fun begins. So I recently saw this lightsaber on Art Sabers Instagram and as soon as I saw it, I was very impressed because I've never seen an LGT saber this accurate. This is the Anakin Skywalker episode three lightsaber. This is the actual Youngling Slayer 3000. Master Skywalker. There are too many of them. What are we going to do? This is where the fun begins. Anakin's lightsaber is a very specific lightsaber to get accurate. You need to get the clamp guard accurate. You need to get the glass eye accurate. You need to get everything accurate. This is a Profi 2.2 lightsaber. It currently goes for $569 on artsabers.com, which is pretty expensive. Let's see if it's worth the price. It came in this box. Exciting. Let's take it out and see how it looks. So as soon as I take it out of the box, we have this actually really nice carrying case. I don't think I've ever gotten a carrying case like this before. It says Art Sabers on this side, and then it says May the Force Be With You on this side. Let's open it up. Okay, so as soon as we open the box, I'm sure you guys can tell there are gloves in here for handling your saber. I've never seen this before, but that's pretty cool. So it kind of comes with all of the usual stuff. We have a charger here, tools, an instruction manual, a display stand, um, the saver, which we'll take a look at in a second. And then we have a blade plug. We have the saver right here and we have a blade and a nice case. Close it back up and put it to the side. We got a 36 inch blade. So it's a 36 inch blade, but you can choose between either a 36 or a 32 inch NeoPixel blade to come with your lightsaber. You can choose on the website if you choose to buy one of these savers. So the saver itself came in a pretty well packaged package. Yes. That's what she said. <laughs> the weight is really light. Keep in mind, this is a NeoPixel lightsaber. This is a Profi board, which is one of the most, if not the most high end NeoPixel board that you can buy on the market. So already you know that the saber is gonna be pretty expensive when you choose to buy one. Whether it's from a reseller or if you install it yourself, it's gonna be pretty expensive. From the start, this is looking pretty accurate. <laughs> oh wow. Oh my God, it's light. Oh my God, this thing is actually, okay. Let me take a second to look at this. Okay, <laughs> hold on. From the looks of it, already it's very accurate to the website. Let me reference my handy dandy reference from wanawanga.com. This is how I find out all of my information about replica lightsabers, whether or not it looks accurate enough, etc. Accuracy is very important. So this is supposed to be accurate to episode three, Revenge of the Sith. Obviously, it isn't going to be accurate to the A New Hope lightsaber that Obi-Wan gives to Luke. Obviously, it's not gonna be accurate to The Force Awakens when Rey gets it. Obviously, it's not gonna be accurate to The Last Jedi and so on and so forth. It's going to be specifically accurate to Revenge of the Sith. So this is also known as the skinny flex. In addition to a skinnier design, the clamp guard was an original design. The D-ring was absent with the addition of a cover tech clip, which was used to clamp to a belt. The button color was more metallic and gold, and the glass eye was replaced with a similarly colored recessed button. In regards to the master replicas version, this is insanely accurate. We can take this little part off now. Oh wow, it's actually like carved out. That's pretty cool. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's not just paint, it's actually carved out. Very cool, but this part is a little big. The top of it is very accurate to the original and honestly, very surprised. This is the bottom of it. It's a very, very nice saber and I will say it's very light. It comes installed with a Profi 2.2 NeoPixel board, which we can take a look at. An improved chassis too. That looks really cool. Honestly, if you're looking for purely a display piece or a cosplay accessory, if you want it to be true to canon, check out the 89 Saber Skinny Flex if you want a truly, truly replica accurate lightsaber for purely display. But this one is good for spinning. It's good for taking photos um, and cosplay because you'll have the installed board. Very, very bright light. Ultimate Works from the POC store also has some pretty great ones. Definitely let me know in the comments if you know of any other great Skinny Flex lightsaber I'm only here to review these savers and let you guys know what I think of them. Let's install the blade and 
and see how bright it is and see what fonts we get with it. So satisfying. <laughs> Keep in mind, this blade is actually much thinner than normal blade sizes. This is the one I got from Art Sabers, and this is just a regular Neopixel blade. So if you do choose to buy this saber, it probably won't be compatible with a lot of your other blades. I'm very confused. I'm just as confused as you guys. So I guess, okay, so, okay. <laughs> there are three buttons on this clamp guard. There's the top button, a middle button, and a bottom button. Bottom button, I believe, switches through the fonts. I've never heard these fonts before. You seem a little unhinged. <laughs> Me, always. I was not expecting that. I... Hold on. <laughs> okay. I don't know how to get out of this mode. I think it's... Here. How do I get... Okay, so when it's beeping like this, it's in volume change mode. And sometimes I can't get out of volume change mode and it makes me really mad. So it tells you how to use it. Oh, hold on. So it's not telling me how to how to change this. Oh, okay. I don't know what I did. But I anyways, um let's go back to the Kenobi font. Kenobi. Amazing. That is so good. Kenobi. Kenobi. Okay, wait, I need to turn the lights off because this is very cool. Okay, look how cool this is. And when you spin it, it turns like red. <laughs> This is why I love Profi. The stuff it can do. That's insane. Okay, what I love most about Profi is how customizable it is. You can really get down to the nitty gritty. You can really go in and program each and every single LED inside the blade. As you can tell, the pixels on the blade That is interesting. That is insane. Oh my god. The presets it comes with are amazing, but you really can go in and literally design it however you want. You can really go in and program it however you want. With a profi board, you can really do anything. It just takes some practice and it takes some getting used to. Eventually, I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to customize profis, CFX boards, etc. Because once you get the hang of it, it gets 
easier. But this uh, saber is actually really nice. When you do spin it, you have to kind of put your hand in a way where it's holding the saber like this. If you spin it like this, it's not that bad. But if you spin it like this, your hand can get caught by this. It isn't sharp but it can get annoying. If you have $569 to spend on a saber like this, I think it's pretty good. It's pretty nice. The quality is great. The controls take some getting used to, but it does become easier and it's it's great. Again, this is the Anakin Episode 3 lightsaber from Art Sabers. You can get a I think I do have a code with them. Like all of these sabers, I try to review on my channels. I try to get a discount code for you guys to at least get some money off of the saber if you do choose to buy them. You can get a 5% discount off the saber using the code Carly King at Art Sabers. You can use it on any saber at Art Sabers, no matter what, you'll get a discount off of your saber, which is great. This is actually one of my new favorite sabers. I'm bringing this with me to when I move. If you liked today's video and would like to see more, definitely hit that subscribe button because it helps me out and it helps show you my videos more often. I know a lot of y'all are experts on replica sabers and making sure they're canonically accurate to the movies. So let me know what y'all think. I would love to hear um, your opinions on this in the comments below. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, night, wherever you are, and may the force be with you. I'm sorry for my squeaky chair, this is really annoying. <laughs>